this weekend, not only this is going to be the 107th running of the Indianapolis 500, but this is also going to be Tony Kanaan's final Indy 500 race and final Indy car race he is doing. <clears throat> <clears throat> so, in honor of Tony Kanaan doing his final Indy car race on Sunday for the 107th running of the Indianapolis 500, um, what I normally do when a driver is doing their final race or retires and all that. Um, I would do a diecast appreciation tour. Also, same thing with teams. So, yeah. In honor of Tony Kanaan, I thought I would look back and also show you guys my Tony Kanaan diecast that I have as of making this video. However, even moving forward, of course, I'll get more Tony Kanaan diecast. <clears throat> So, yeah. Also, sorry about my voice. I'm still clearing my throat. <clears throat> so, with that being said, let's begin. So, the first thing I'm going by, I'm going to go by year, by the way. So, the first diecast I have for Tony Kanan is Tony Kanan's 2007 um, 7 Eleven um, Honda Dlara from Andretti Green Racing. Um, of course, this diecast is very rare. This was made by Greenlight, and you can see that the diecast mold. Is very very different, and I'll explain that in a moment. I just need to like open the box. Yeah, a weird um, looking IndyCar diecast, in my opinion. And it's also strange because like instead of like the details of a driver's helmet, it's like some little what, um, not pebble, a uh, little thing right here. I'm not sure what's that all about. This I guess does have metal chassis, uh, rubber tires as well. <clears throat> so if I uh, so if I can remember correctly, I think this is supposed to be like a toy car, a toy version car thing. Because I remember I, from what I researched and I was looking at this image, looking at this diecast, you know, for some research. Um, this diecast was like a um um a toy cars sell, uh, being sold by 7-Eleven because they would have the other uh, thing where um, they had like these uh, things, uh, these things, boxes, or I don't know what they're called, I'm sorry, on a counter and it, you would get things like that. That's my guess. I could be wrong. Um, next up, this is what I really wanted the most before I got it. Um, this is Tony Kanan's 2009 7-Eleven Slurpee Honda Delaro, of course, from Andretti Green Racing. This was made by Hot Wheels, and this is honestly one of my favorite diecasts ever for IndyCar, and also one of my favorite IndyCar liveries of all time. Like, it's 7-Eleven, like, come on, the colors are good. And what I love about this diecast is the mold itself, because Greenlight's mold is weird. I know it's 2007 Greenlight, but... And just look at the comparison. In terms of like uh, diecast mold, uh, I know that they're different companies, but still. Um, and I do have an extra Tony Kanan 2009, but in the packaging. Uh, long story short, I thought I lost this car while shipping. And my dad got me this. Um, for my birthday last year, just in case. And because I got this, uh, my dad told me, hey, just keep this one a package. I'm like, okay. So, I guess you can say this counts. Hang on, I need, like, a better shot. Um, alright, I think, yep, this will do. And also, I'm, I'm planning on, like, doing diecast reviews. Even pre-recorded diecast reviews, like... On like random stop motion tracks. Because honestly why not. So yeah. And probably like gonna add them on my thumbnail. I really gotta like do like thumbnails for diecast reviews. Instead of just screenshotting a view from the video. Anyway. Um, here we got Tony Kanan's 2011 um, KV Racing Team car. And... From this wave 
from Hot Wheels, the one with the rubber tires, metal chassis. They're supposed to be like fantasy liveries, you know, like my Alex Tagliani, Dan Weldon, Brian Hurdle, Auto Sport 98 car, my Sarah Fisher racing car, even though it's driven by Ed Carpenter. Um, those kind of cars. And also Ryan Hunter Race 2010 IZOD car. Um, if you have like IndyCar metal chassis rubber tires like this, chances are you have Fantasy Diecast. And this is a Fantasy livery. And yep, you got the uh, Lotus uh, font. So yeah. Uh, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sort this by year. I'm going to sort this by year. Alright. And the best for last that I have is Tony Kanan's 2017 NTT Data Honda Delara from Chick Ganassi Racing. And, yeah, I wanted to get Tony Kanan's 2021 American Legion car. It was, like, obviously, like, 876 total with, like, 3 bucks for some shipping. Or the other way around. I don't know. But they were out of stock on eBay. So I couldn't get that. So I'm like, you know what? I'll just get this as well. Plus, uh, even though I hate the Aero Kit cars from 2015, 2017. Because they're ugly. Especially real courses. I still want to get more of those. Because I have mainly IRO 5 cars. And IR18 Universal kits nowadays. But yeah, this is Tony Kanan's NTT Data car. And I would love to get the 2015 diecast version. Because it's on a DW12. It looks way gorgeous. But yeah, this is Tony's car from 2017. His last full season with uh, Ganassi. And then for some reason, even though like there were issues after Gateway 2017, he still came back to chip uh, for like five races in two years. So yeah, I guess things worked out well um, from my from my assumption. So yep. All right, so. That is my Tony Kanan diecast appreciation video. And I gotta say, seeing Tony race, it's just an honor to see Tony Kanan race, growing up watching him race. Um, unfortunately, I never had the chance to see him race in the iconic 7-Eleven car in the number 11, but I did get a chance to see him race in the 7-Eleven uh, car but in 2020 with AJ Foyt. But regardless, I'm so happy to see Tony Kanan race. Um, one of the one of the one of the veteran drivers, like good driver, great driver, a legend of the sport. And if he if he is done racing IndyCar for real, because a bunch of times he's like, oh, this might be my last race. Oh, this might be my last season. All that. This might be for real this time. But if that's really the case, then Tony Kanan, I just want to say thank you guys. Oh wait, no. I almost did my outro. I just want to say, Tony Kanan, thank you so much for everything you've done. Uh, thank you for the memories. You are an awesome driver. And I'm just happy you see Tony uh, race. And that's all there is to it. Um, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this uh, diecast video. Um... It is Tony's last race in Rumble City Indy 500, so it would be perfect timing to do this video. So, yeah. Um, I think that's all I can say. Thank you guys so much for watching this uh, video. This is the Impress 2000, my, the original Impress 2000 YouTube channel. Signing off. Goodbye, everybody, and enjoy the 2023 Indy 500. Goodbye, everybody.